All right, back for another couple pages. So in the last video, we showed the existence journal and this page. Um, and there is, yes, glitter still everywhere. So today, this year, I'm doing my Fobonichi a little different. Okay, the Fobonichi is based on the Hobonichi Techno cousin thing. Whatever, from years and years and years ago before they had all these variants, okay? So it was one page, one day, uh, date at the top, that kind of thing. Um, and then as my life got busier, I spread it across two pages. And this time at, of year, I'm going back to one page and I've decided to let go of the need to be perfect in filling my journals. And I'm going to do what I have stuffed right down. And if I don't have that much, I'm going to do a day per page. And if I have more, I will spread it out and fill, do whatever. So with that in mind, um, I am going to do the fourth and the third and the fourth on these two pages instead of the third like you needed me to turn the next blank page, but, and the fourth. Um, in case you're wondering, yes, these journals are sewn. It's why they handle so well being stuffed. <laughs> um, anyways, so uh, some days I'll, I'll hope to do like watercoloring and things like that. Other days, it's just gonna be stick and glue and story time because if I'm going to get all the art journaling done, the 52 tags done, all these projects I showed in that other video, there's just, I can't do it all. And on top of that, I have all my living whole food plant-based stuff. So um, this is basically what it's going to be. Made an executive decision, therefore law. <laughs> well, until I change my mind. Um, okay, so the fourth and the fifth actually were spent doing pretty much the same thing. Uh, we, I completely tore my grow room apart. And I, I always laugh when I say, my, I have a grow room because it always makes me think of pot, cannabis, marijuana, whatever. Um, I don't grow marijuana, just an FYI for anybody driving by my house, seeing all my rooms lit up with grow lights. Um, there is no marijuana. Sorry, there's not. Uh, there never will be either, my opinion on that. Uh, but <laughs> I had, for the last couple of years, I've had it set up a particular way with my shelves all hooked together. And if you follow me for any length of time, you, you kind of get this. I have full-size photos and descriptions on our Living Whole Food plant-based page too. So um, yeah, this I'm not reinventing the wheel here. And uh, I decided this year to add a couple more shelves. Well, the only way to do that is I had to take my old shelves apart to get the stored shelves off the bottom because somebody, not naming names, thought it would be brilliant to put all the extra shelves on the bottom of the units and put them together instead of on the top where you could just take them off and yeah, not naming names. Um, and so I, that was it. And I tore, I tore the room apart. We took all the shelves apart, cleaned, deep cleaned everything. Not that it's dirty, it's plants. But George can only get underneath. I have a Roomba, I have a couple Roombas cause best shit ever. Oh, where has those been all my life? They go under everything. Mm, I love that. Anyways, um, but he's terrible on the corners. And so we got all the corners done and got things moved around. And yeah, so that's that's basically uh, what we did for the entire weekend. So there wasn't really anything else to talk about. Um, I steamed potatoes. Wow, that's exciting. Thank you for sharing that. And but mostly I um, we I didn't do it alone because I can't do it alone because those shelves are evil. Um, rearrange the the grow room and I'm going to put some photos in here so you guys can see the bigger bigger photos but if you want more information about this I have all this information on my Facebook page and I'll answer any questions you can I just play at this I'm not a pro it, it's it's in it's shop lights and shelves from Sam's Club and it grows food it's it's not really rocket science so anyways I have Oh, where did I get that paper from? It was a Joann's, hold on, Joann's um, paper stack. 
I should have left it. I should have left it out. Um, I got it at Joanne's, but I can't think of the, the my, I got to fix my floor. That's all there is to it. I have a whole little cabinet or pocket full of plant type. It was this one. And so I took that and I cut it apart and the background was all this dotted gold, gold dotted stuff. Something stuck on the bottom. Um, and so I thought, well, that made kind of a table for them to sit on. And <laughs> that's basically the page. Woo boy, if you guys are looking for tutorials, aren't you disappointed? But um, I, I guess in, in general, it, it shows you, people are always like, how long does it take you to do your pages? If I wasn't doing videos, minutes. I mean, it takes a little while to, to fussy cut stuff out, obviously, but if it, in general, I, I, I bet I don't have 10 minutes, five, 10, I don't know, a couple minutes into fussy cutting that. And you know, then you just got to glue it down and write your journaling. There's really not that much to it. And I really recommend you don't make it have that much to it. This is not supposed to be an art journal or a, a diary in the sense of you're working out your problems in it type journal. This is a, it happened today, get it on the page. It's those current everyday memories. That's it. And so people are always like, oh, but I don't have that much that happened. Oh, girlfriend, because it's usually women. Really? We talk about how busy we are, and then we tell us that we don't have anything that happened. You can't have it both ways, ladies. You, you cannot be, oh, I'm too busy to do all this stuff, and then go, but I don't have anything to put on the page. Yes, you do. You got up, didn't you? Are you breathing? Does your cat, did your cat do something funny today? Did they, were they cute? Um, the kids, what about the kids? The kids did nothing. They didn't exist today. Husband did nothing. Man, you were really mad at him for not picking his dirty underwear up off of the bathroom floor, weren't you? It's those everyday generic memories that are what you're supposed to be getting into these. Not your arting, not your stickers, not your paper. That's after the fact. That's not the point. Um, if you read about what a Hobonichi is, he talks about it like in the sense that you're floating along in a boat, I think is how it starts, and you have a net, and you're dipping the net into the, it might not be a boat. Anyways, you dip your net into it and you catch a fish, and that is like catching your memories for the day. You just, it's those bits and pieces throughout your day that made up your day. It is not 8 a.m. I got up. 9 a.m. I ate breakfast. 10 a.m. I did this. It's not, hey, we had a party today. It is laundry got done. I ran to the store. Whatever it is, it's that everyday memory. So it is heartbreaking, heartbreaking to me when I hear somebody go, I'd love to do that, but nothing happens in my life. You need to get your butt out of your chair and you need to go find what's going on around in your life. Because if that is the answer, then do something about it. Is that what you want? Oh, nothing happens in my life. Nothing happens in your life. How sad is that statement? Nothing exciting happens in my life. Well, what made that so important? Why does it have to be exciting? Why can't it be, man, this is our couch today. We got a new couch today. Or insert whatever it is here. Why does it have to be special? What is special? You're special. Why aren't you on the page? Your day is special. You existed. You lived. You were there. You had your family there. You had your cats there. You had your dog there. I don't, I, whatever. You get the point, right? I really shouldn't have done that. See that? See, I'm chatting and I, and I, I screwed up. So we're going to cut those off because sadly they just will, they're, they're, you can't put them across the seam. Oh, I'm, look, I'm pruning my plants. Seriously, that's bad. That's really bad. Anyways, you get what I mean, right? So you get up and you go find something to do. Grab that cell phone. Everybody owns one. Come on now. Don't give me the, well, I don't know how to use it. Well, hey, there's something for your day. I hear every day. Well, I don't know how to use Facebook. I don't know how to use Instagram. I don't know. I want to do all these things, but I don't know how to blah, blah, blah. Well, um... Just out of curiosity, 
are you only allowed to learn so much? Go figure it out. You're a full grown adult. Go figure it out. Come on now. Don't be that way. Um, but yeah, so there are, there's tons of things that is happening every day. Like today, the mailman, oh my God, sorry, but who hires these people? So I have a mailbox by my front door, but it says tools on it. And it's, when you open the door, it has tools in it. Our mailbox is way out on the street. The mailman comes in because I finally got my packages from Amazon. Go Amazon. Go Amazon. I'm sorry. I'm a fan. Um, I don't like him, but I like Amazon. Um, and anyway, so he drove through the driveway because I, I have a really long driveway. And he, um, I thought he was leaving the packages on the doorstep. And I don't, I don't answer, I don't answer the door. I'm sorry. I, I don't answer the door. I, I don't need to talk to you. I appreciate you dropping. And honestly, they don't want me to answer the door. They don't want me to answer the door either. So anyways, um, I thought he was just dropping the packages off on the for porch step. I go out there. There's one box. Well, there's supposed to be three boxes. Well, the show's delivered. I didn't see him stop out at the outside mail, the big mailbox. So for shits and giggles, I open the tool well, it's got tools written all over it, okay? Toolbox, mailbox, and he had stuffed all of my packages in that mailbox. It's a teeny tiny mailbox. Squished it in there. Not only that, it was full of bugs and gardening tools and dirt. Dude, just what? So, yeah, that was, see, and see, that happened today. And you betcha that's going to go on my page for, for the for the fourth, because today is not the fourth. Um, and I took a note. So, but yes, find something. Don't be that way. Don't let your life, do you hear that? You're, you're letting your entire life go by. Eh, nothing exciting ever happens in my life. Well, why, it, don't you find that heartbreaking? I find that heartbreaking. I'm sorry. I find that heartbreaking. You have nothing and you have no drive to, to find something. I, I just don't be that person. There, everything in your, if you're breathing, that's a party, man. Have you met COVID and all this crap going on? And you're worried that you don't have anything exciting in your life. Maybe that's what you should write down. I don't have anything exciting in my life. But I was breathing this morning. I got up. Man, I hate getting up in the morning. This morning was particularly difficult to get up. Blah, blah, blah. Are you following the party plan here? So if you need inspiration, come jump in. It doesn't have to be exciting. It doesn't have to be a birthday. It doesn't have to be, don't, don't do the, tra it's not tracking your habits. It's not that. It's just, this happened today. That's it. That's it. And it doesn't have to be exciting. And if you don't have something exciting, write something every day about what's going on around you. Describe your couch. Take a picture of your couch and put it in here. Do something that you think is just mundane and boring. Because I promise you think it's mundane and boring, but the future won't think it's mundane and boring. It, they won't. They're going to be like, oh my god, look at that couch. Yuck. What were they thinking? That was style? Trust me, I look back on my couches and I think, what was I thinking? And in fairness, the ugliest one came from my in-laws, so <laughs> it's gone. Um, but you get it? Are you getting it? So grab a notebook. All you need is a plain, cheap-ass notebook. Run over to the Dollar Tree. Grab a notebook. Gar the garden is my happy place. People, come on. Look. You've seen my pictures, right? I love this room. This is the other half of my son's room. Oh, dude, I put this on upside down. Why was nobody watching? Oh, come on. You can do it. I should leave it like that, right? I have many, many, many pictures that are in this in my journals upside down. And I always think, God, if I could be a fly on the wall to, to see what they say when they go back and read it. <laughs> like, that looks weird. Why is it that way? Um... 
but yeah, I love this room. And I always tell him, I said, you know, we, cause what we did is when he was little, we took a part, we took a part, we took down a wall between our two back bedrooms. Um, our house isn't that big. So the whole, I think the whole distance across the back is 24 feet. So his room's 24 by 12, I think. Um, and then as he grew up, it, it, he used the whole room. We had a whole play side and we had a whole, uh, uh, sleep side, even though it was open. And then as he got bigger and went, we did homeschooling. So we had a whole school side and a bedroom side. And now that he's older, he has a computer because that's all he does is play games on the computer with his friends when he's home. And, um, so I, I asked him, can we do this? And he's like, yeah. And now he's like, I love it. He didn't like get up in the morning. <laughs> he don't does any of because it's bright lights if he doesn't beat them up i mean it's bright bright lights um but it's so fun and i mean how many kids do you know that can say he has literally a, a jungle in his bedroom <laughs> when he was little speaking of that squirrel he did have a jungle painted on his bedroom walls i did an entire jungle book it was back when i was still speaking to my mother she helped me um Somebody just drove through my driveway. Dude, it took you longer to do that than go around the corner. <sighs> Anyways, uh, we, I did, we did an entire Jungle Book theme all the way around this room. Craziness. Um, yeah, now it's yellow. <laughs> That's the color he picked. All right, so that is that. So now we've got to get, um, we've got to get, I tried to figure out, decorations and stuff but I decided to keep it simple so we're going to put the date on there and I'm thinking I'm going to fill it in right here um the third so I can fill this hole in that's driving me insane and the fourth no no second back up sorry there we go oh nice and leaner oh it's sad Sad, sad, sad. These are gold alphas from a Happy Planner book. Oh, there's no and. Darn it. Well, I'll figure that out later because I didn't have a plan for that. I'm sure there's an and somewhere. So let's do Jan. Jan. Um, I'm going to dig out. Okay, so I posted in the Fobonichi Journalers group today um, a picture of all of my date stamps because I've been cleaning out my date stamp drawer and I don't, I don't stamp. I bought thousands of stamps and I don't stamp. Why do I do that? But so I'm going to try to use more stamps this year. Um, I don't know if I'll use them so much in, in my Fobonichi, but in my other projects. See, we got to fix that, right? I need a little gold heart there too, don't you think? We'll find that too. And I don't know where any of that is. So, but I, when I was digging through, I found, here, Scooch, uh, all of my date stamps. And they're, they're I've, I mean, they're, when I first started Fobonichiing, I thought it had to be like per perfect, you know? And so I have all these. So I, I decided that I'm going to start using that, but I had already planned these pages out. So that didn't happen this time. All right, you guys, I am going to go do my journaling. Um, I will post pictures at the end of this. That's going to be it for today, four and five. Um, and then I will be back with the next video. And I have no idea what the next video will be because today's the fourth. And so it's not over yet. So I don't know what those pages are going to look like. And I don't really have any other plans. So I do want to start working on my mini file folder. So that might come next. I don't know. <sighs> so many things. Can you tell I'm in a good mood? Garden is my happy place. And so is crafting and stuff. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Get out there and figure out something in your day. Something happened in your day and it's worth remembering. You wanna know why? Because it happened to you. And that's important. I will see you in the next video. Bye now.